What's going on guys? Welcome to my channel. I'm John the Video Guy and in this video tutorial I'm going to be showing you guys how to do a cool handheld camera movement inside Premiere Pro with no third-party plugins, no effects that you have to purchase. So what I've done is actually shot stock footage of my wall with tape on it and we're going to use this handheld camera movement and add it to the still shot of me uh, in a tutorial. As always guys, feel free to hit that like button. It really helps my channel. So we're gonna add some camera movement to this very static shot by using this camera movement shot. So to get started, what I'm gonna do is add this clip to my timeline. So that way we have that way we have this clip over it. And what I'm gonna do is actually duplicate this clip. So the clip that is my actual uh, footage that I want to actually add some camera movement to it, I'm gonna duplicate it. So I'm gonna hold down Option and drag up. A layer that way I have two of them and now what I'm going to do is actually select these two so the tape or my wall the camera movement clip and the duplicated a layer I'm going to right click and go to nest and I'm going to nest these together and we're going to name this nested camera shake I'm going to click OK and next what I'm going to do is actually go into the effects panel and search for warp stabilizer and click and drag this to the nested sequence. Go into effects controls and change the result to no motion and change the method to position. And then once it's done, you'll wanna double click on the nested sequence. So double click on it, click on this layer and then either delete it or disable it. That way it's not visible. And if you go out here, you'll notice when we play this back, we have camera movement now. So that's a pretty cool way to do this. We can even enhance this a little bit more, maybe add some zoom ins and zoom outs. So to do that, we can go to the new item and choose adjustment layer and click OK. And we'll drag this to our sequence, drag it out. And what this effect I'll search for to do this is called transform. So I'll search for the transform effect, add this to here. Now in our effects controls, we can keyframe the scale and position. So we can scale it up a little bit, maybe do about 130. Maybe we start it right where, right before I uh, point. So I'm gonna actually move marquee select and move these keyframes out to this point in time. Shift arrow forward to go forward five uh, frames. And then what I'm gonna do is just reset these to kind of put them back into place. And then if we scroll down, we can uncheck use composition shutter angle and we can actually increase the shutter angle to 360. And this, what this does is actually add some motion blur to our zoom in, zoom outs. And then maybe we zoom back in a little bit. Go forward, five frames, zoom in. four or five frames. Yeah, I'm just holding down shift and like the right arrow to go forward five frames in my timeline. So that's a helpful uh, shortcut to kind of go uh, throughout your timeline. So there we go, we got a nice camera, handheld camera movement, some ins and outs, so that's a way to actually take your static footage and to add, add some life to it. Hope you guys found this tutorial helpful. If you wanna see more tutorials, I'll link one that you guys might like up here. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you next time.